So I frequently get a ton of emails and LinkedIn messages from agency owners wondering how they should set up their closed IO CRM. Keep those messages rolling in, but today I wanted to give a tutorial on how to set up your closed IO CRM and start your CRM journey. But of course, I gotta introduce myself real quick. Hi, my name is Brandy Grace Wong. I'm the founder of Totally Branded. We're an operation slash strategy agency designed for digital agencies. And our current offer is we help agencies add 7K to their revenue in our seven day free trial. So first I wanna start off by saying that everybody needs a CRM. Some of you may feel like you might not need one yet. All I have to say is when I first signed up for Closed.io, that's when I could really see in front of me that I was totally tanking my agency. And with the stats, I was able to figure out all my sales operational breaking points and fix them. Okay, so I've created a new Closed.io account for the purpose of this YouTube video to show you how I would set up the statuses. So let me just pull out an example lead. The statuses here, how I would set up the lead statuses and how I would set up the smart views on the side. And so we're just gonna use an example right now so this is a social marketing agency uh, we work with a lot of social marketing agencies as well as like a lot of agencies that aren't marketing and this is their avatar so they need to know where their leads are in their pipeline just to stay organized so they know who to follow up with and they can up their follow-up game or maybe even hire somebody to take over it. it needs a place to keep track of their clients and they use the two call close method which is a discovery call a demo call send the invoice and then they close these leads so for us with our free trial obviously ours looks differently we also offer services around this Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is go over to settings and go over to statuses and pipelines and look for this. So I've already gone ahead and added a couple of lead statuses already. Uh, the ones that weren't included were canceled quality client, canceled don't reach back out, and then contact later. I'm actually going to add another one called ghost and then just move that to the bottom. So let me explain each status. So each status, potential. So whenever a lead comes in as a brand new lead, you have no idea if they're qualified or not, and they just booked a call with your agency, they usually come in as potential. And then I'm going to move ghost to the bottom. Once you have got on a discovery call with them and you have qualified this lead and you know that they're fit for your agency then they're qualified then you change it to qualified if they show a little bit interest and they're qualified then that would come off as interested if they close obviously customer if they close and then they cancel with you then they're a canceled quality client if you want to go back and work with them one day again but if you don't and you had a bad experience working with them we got canceled don't reach back out and then we have bad fit obviously if during the discovery call you figure out that they're a bad fit it would go from potential to bad fit if they're just simply not interested then you mark them down as not interested. If they say, hey, listen, contact me at a later time. Right now is not a good time, but I really love your service. You got contact later. If they no show you, then that's a fat ghost. And so moving down, we have the pipelines and statuses. So obviously you can add more pipelines. I'm just gonna do one for the purpose of this video to keep it simple. I've already added these statuses that are needed to. I added these two and then I added this one as well. And then I added these two at the bottom as well. So let me explain. So when a lead comes in as a fresh new lead, they just booked a call with you. They come in as potential and they also come in as discovery call booked on the opportunity. So you know that you have a discovery call with this person coming up. When the discovery call is completed and if you don't book the lead onto the second call, which is the demo call on the discovery call, then they would be discovery call completed. And it's important to note this down because you need to know who you need to reach out to to get them on a demo call. And so if you're able to get the lead to book a demo call with you on the discovery call, then you just simply go over to demo call booked. But if it takes them a little bit of nurturing based off of discovery call completed to get them to book a demo call then you would switch it then and then if they completed the demo call and they aren't ready for an invoice then you would just mark it down as demo call completed which means that they need more nurturing for you to be able to get them to like you get them on another call and then send them an invoice but sometimes if you're lucky and you do really well in your sales process then you can just go straight from demo call completed to sending them an invoice proposal contract etc and so this is really really important to know who you've sent an invoice to and who you've sent a contract to because these people are the leads that are teetering on the edge to pay you and your agency. And so you want to be able to know who to follow up with for that. And so that's going to be organized in its own category as well. And then it's going to be one, obviously, if you won the lead, um, you need to know. And then if it's lost as well, if you've lost this lead. Of course, there's contact me later, just like above, but this is like a fence sitter. So somebody who said that they're like interested in your services, said that they were a fit, they are a fit, and they're like, but we're not ready yet. So you want to be able to keep track of those leads so you know what emails to send them to get them back. And then a lot of them will say I'm not ready yet and then if they're not ready yet then you know that you got to reach back out to them in a couple of months or a couple of weeks to get them to close with you okay so I've written out all of the smart views that we possibly need and I'm gonna make them in front of you and then I'm going to show you how it's actually done how you actually use them so first we're gonna delete all of these example ones because we don't need them okay so the first thing I want you to do is I always tell people always create an example lead so that way you can use this as an example and then move it around the smart views so you know that the smart view 
was working. So we're going to use totally branded. And I'm just going to punch in my email right here. Okay, so now that this information has been added about, I guess, the founder, you can open up a new opportunity. So this is what happens once a lead books a discovery call with you. So obviously we're going to set it as discovery call booked. You can set the value. So for example, if your services are worth like $3,000, you can do $3,000. If it's worth $6,000, you can do $6,000. If you work on a retainer fee, you already know it's monthly. Um, and you can just set up the main contact as you know, the decision maker that you're talking to. And then you can have the estimated close be, um, if the call is on the 8th, then I would set it on the 8th, just so you know when it is. And so now we have the discovery call book. Now we have the lead as potential. So now we can make the smart view for that. So what I would do is go over to leads, add a filter, and then go over to leads, current status, potential. And then we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna go opportunities, current status, discovery call booked. We're gonna have it as uh, new calls upcoming and then I'm just gonna do call I like to add emojis just because it helps when it comes to organization and just reading it really really quickly save so that's gonna be there automatically and the next step we want is of course this uh, discovery call completed and then we're gonna have them as qualified for example so discovery call is completed that means that they need more nurturing to close they need a demo and so we're going to just make that new smart view we're gonna actually only mess with the opportunity and we're gonna change it to discovery call completed and then we're going to press save as um, needs demo and then we'll do like we'll do like a sparkle emoji real quick and here's the sparkle emoji mm -hmm. and then we're just gonna move this to the bottom and so we're going to change this to the next step which is demo call booked and then um because they're demo call booked hopefully they're interested i don't know you can keep it as qualified if they still don't feel interested or if they're interested you just know for confidence levels i would honestly change the state to the demo call book date so maybe on the 12th we're going to save that and then we're going to go over to leads press plus oh we're going to go over to leads add filter and then we're going to go to opportunities current status demo call booked so then we know that we can save as and we can do demos upcoming and this can be like this and then we'll just pop in a computer emoji okay now i'm gonna do the rest of these smart views and then i'm gonna show you how it works in the end okay so now i have actually finished all of the smart views for this two call close pipeline where the first call is discovery call second call is demo call and third call is sending an invoice okay so the first thing is we're gonna go over to totally branded and we're gonna test out all of these smart views so for example if totally branded was a client for example then we change that to customer and the customer part would actually be the part that would organize this lead into clients and so if we wanted to see if totally branded was the newest call upcoming for a discovery call then we would simply change this to discovery call booked and the lead to be potential and so it would show up in new calls upcoming and if totally branded needed a demo then you'd probably search as either qualified or interested say for example totally branded was really interested then we would simply show up in discovery call completed because we didn't book a demo call right off the bat and so that would also come up in interested leads right here and so you know where all of your interested leads are in one place but also who the hell needs a demo and then say for example totally branded books that demo call you need to know that that de uh, that demo call has been booked and so that'll show up in demo calls upcoming as long as you change the status if the demo call is completed and the lead needs more nurturing then of course you would just simply change that to demo call completed needs more nurturing then it would show up here as well for example if this lead is ready to close you send them an invoice they say they're ready for it you press the option for invoice sent and save that and they would show up in invoice sent and so you know to follow up with these leads to close them because they're right on the edge of closing say for example this lead oh we are qualified just qualified all of your qualified leads would show up here and so you have a place to see all your interested leads all your qualified leads and say for example totally branded was a client of yours and then we canceled but we're still a quality client and you would like to have us back one day then we'd be a quality past client and then you can create a whole email sequence a whole email flow and send it to all of these leads in the quality past client section in the quality past client smart view and so say for example you know us totally branded we're like ah contact me later we're not ready for it yet but we love your service you would just simply change the status of the opportunity to contact me later and then you would also change it to contact me later here and then we would show up as contact later but if we were like uh like i'm still not ready and you reached back out to us then you would go to not ready yet save that and we would show up as a fence sitter and that is the super super very very basic tutorial on how to use close.io to organize your leads your clients and your sales pipeline and this is just the beginning it can get a lot more complicated than this it could get a lot more automated than this but this is just what you need to start with for your sales pipeline so that's it for today's video if you found this helpful make sure to like and subscribe for more 
or Close.io tutorials. If you're an agency owner and you're interested in our 7K and 7 day free trial, feel free to book a call with us in the link below. If you wanted to get in touch with me or ask me any questions, here's my email. If you wanted to connect with me, this is my LinkedIn. I'm always open to making new friends. And this is my Instagram. I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Take care. Peace.